Welcome to Sewing Story Box Corner. Today we're going to read a daisy book. Yuck. Daisy didn't do dresses. You can't be a bridesmaid if you won't wear a dress, explained her mom. Then I won't be a bridesmaid, huh, Daisy? Daisy's mom put her arm around Daisy's shoulder. If you don't wear a dress to Auntie Sue's and Cliff's death, Auntie Sue and Cliff's wedding, I'll be sad. Nanny will be sad. Grandpa will be sad. Cliff will be sad. Everyone in the whole world will be sad. Exaggerated Daisy's mom. Daisy unfolded her arms and sighed. I'll wear my football kit. Offered the Daisy. Bridesmaids don't wear football kits," sighed Daisy's mom. "School year looks good," offered Daisy. "Or oh, how about a leopard skin suit?" "We're going to be in a church, Daisy, not a zoo," sighed Daisy's mom. "At least come and try some dresses on," said Annie Sue. "Yes," said Daisy's mom. "Please come and try some dresses on." I think you look lovely in a dress. Daisy stuck her hands in her pockets and shrugged her shoulders. She didn't do lovely either. If I don't like them, I'm not wearing them. She grumbled. Daisy's mom and Annie Sue smiled at each other and rushed Daisy into the wedding dress shop before she could change her mind. Daisy tried on the first dress on. It was a passion pink satin with rose buds and frilly bits. Yuck! Said Daisy. Daisy tried the second dress on. It was yellow silk with sequins and floppy gloves. Yuck! Said Daisy. Daisy tried the third dress on. It was blue velvet with blue bows and puffy sleeves. Yuck," said Daisy. Daisy tried on every bridesmaid dress in the shop. It was cotton and tartan and the organza and the chiffon and the lace and the pleats and the petticoats and the ruffles and the sashes and the embroidery and the appliqué and the ribbons and the tiaras and the handbags and the headdresses. Are were all yuck. Daisy's mom looked at Auntie Sue. They Auntie Sue looked at the dress dress shop owner. Everyone had run out of ideas, except for Daisy. I'll tell you what," said Daisy. "I'll I will wear a dress if I can draw it myself." Daisy's mom raised her eyebrows and looked at Annie Sue. "It's a deal," said Annie Sue. When Daisy got home, she ran upstairs and closed her bedroom door. She laid out some big pieces of paper on her bedroom floor and chewed the crayons from her pencil cases onto her bed. When Daisy's mom came over. To call Daisy to dinner, she found a note pinned to Daisy's bedroom door. Do not disturb. I'm busy. Leave dinner here. When Daisy's mom came upstairs with Daisy's pajamas, she found another note pinned to Daisy's door. Still busy. I do hope it isn't a vampire dress," sighed Daisy's mom. On the day of the wedding, a smiling Auntie Sue arrived at the church, wearing her wedding dress. It was white satin with sequins and lacy bows, and came with a rosebud tiara. Behind Auntie Sue came a smiling Daisy, wearing her bridesmaid's dress. It was green silk and came with a black ninja hairband headband. Maximum confetti, action belts, and hidden extras. Come, 
confetti action belt, secret confetti pouch, ninja headband. The moment the wedding was over, Daisy reached for her confetti action belt and blam! Everybody did time. She got Annie Sue down the front of her dress and Uncle Cliff down his collar. She got Vicar in the ear, Nanny in the handbag, and Grampy in the camera. How do you like me in a dress? Laughed Daisy, hitting Mum right in the mush with two hands. Daisy's mom sighed and big, picking bits of confetti out from between her teeth. Yuck, Daisy, she spluttered. Yuck, 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 yuck. Thank you for listening to a Daisy book. It was fun you having around at my corner. Thank you for reading this book with me.